You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes oh, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Welcome, and thank you all for joining us for this joyous occasion. Together we are gathered here to witness a truly special ceremony, the union of John and Amanda before their friends and family. Please be seated. <laughs> no. I can't reach. John and Amanda, today we celebrate the power of your love and the strength of your bond. Before we begin, Take a moment to look around at all the friendly faces that you know. Know that we are all here to offer love, support, and encouragement as you begin this incredible journey together. There are few greater joys in life than finding someone with whom we truly click. In that spirit, I would like to share a short reading on soulmates from author Richard Bach. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings and our sense of direction. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. May this ceremony today provide you with wonderful memories to look back on and treasure for the rest of your days. Who gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I. If anyone has cause to object to the forming of this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. John and Amanda, as you stand here today before your friends and family, realize that you are preparing to celebrate one of life's greatest gifts, the depths of which you have only just begun to explore. Your level of love and commitment is something that many seek, but not everyone finds. The bond you share is a rarity in this world and it is more valuable than any precious stone or metal. Marriage of course is more than a formal exchange of rings. It is a sacred and solemn promise to one another that no matter what you're in this together. Life is full of surprises both positive and negative as you have both experienced in the past few months. By nature it's impossible to know what is around the next bend. However, with a trusted partner by your side, you may take comfort in the unknown. Whatever storms may come, you will weather them together. That is the beauty of love. Not only does it cradle us when we are feeling weak and tired, it creates a solid foundation on which we can always rely. I have known and loved Amanda since the day she was born. My advice for Amanda, excuse me if I get choked up, 
for Amanda and John today is to always laugh with each other. Always be best friends. Looks and youth will fade, but being best friends will last forever. So hold on to that no matter what. Today your lives will become permanently intertwined. The union you form today is built to withstand any and all challenges. Through sorrow and joy, through failure and success, through despair and triumph, your bond will grow, buoyed by the everlasting love you share. With the vows you're going to exchange today, you will both finalize this promise and begin your life together. As we gather here under the eyes of your family and friends, let us also recognize the seriousness of this occasion. Marriage is a profound, sincere commitment and one worthy of our reverence. As you hold hands and prepare to exchange your vows, I share this hand-holding blessing with you. John and Amanda, these are the hands of your partner, young, strong, and full of love. Holding hands as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and always. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you and comfort you in grief and uncertainty. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength and these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still reach for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. John and Amanda have prepared their own wedding vows to say to each other today. John, would you like to go first? Yes. Today I'm marrying not only the love of my life, but my best friend. We've been together for four years, and in those four years I've honestly been the best of my life. I remember the first time I saw you. It was at a bowling alley, which should surprise nobody at all. <laughs> You left a lasting impression. It wasn't until later that the thought of us being together actually became a possibility. We spent one night talking for literally hours, and it was clear that I wanted to be with you. With you, I found somebody that truly has the same goals and values that I have. I was and still am amazed by your drive and commitment. You wanted to finish college early and didn't let anybody slow you down. That is the enthusiasm enthusiasm that you put into many aspects of your life. I love that family means so much to you. I love that we get to share so much of our lives with our parents. It's reassuring that our parents have supported our relationship from the very beginning. I look at our families and I am excited for the day that we can add to them. Something that I know that you are looking forward to as well. I've spent so much of my life looking for you, but the good thing is knowing that there are many, many years ahead of us and thousands of memories to be made. I know we, I know we will continue to make each other happy as we continue through this life together. I love you. Amanda. John, you are my best friend, my one and only true love. You are the person that I lean on for support and the person that I look to, look to for advice even if I don't like it or take it. Um, you are the person that I feel safest with in this world and the one who will always calm me down when I am freaking out over any small little thing. Our relationship truly is unique to us. The way you look at me when we have one of our moments together alone always makes me remember why, why I fell in love with you. You changed the way I look at love and made me realize that you can love me as much as I love you. When I first saw you, I thought you were that bad boy type. Um, <laughs> but after taking some time to really get to know you, I felt like you were someone I wanted in my life. The first day we met, you asked around to your friends to see if they knew who I was because I think you thought I was pretty. Uh, all you wanted to know was who I was and I thought the same thing. 
I think from the moment we both looked into each other's eyes, we just had something special between us without any words. That first look we made, it made me curious, and it was from there that we started talking and getting to know each other. I think the first time we talked face to face, just the two of us, the conversation lasted over four hours. I realized just from that conversation that we liked a lot of the same things, and over time we realized that we both had the same values in life and the same wants for our future, and that we wanted to spend it together. We may not be the perfect couple, but I truly believe in my heart that we are perfect for each other. I promise to kiss. I promise to kiss you every day, as we do today, with love and devotion, that each kiss we share from now on will be a rem remembrance of our wedding vows, our joy, and everything we share. I promise never to stop loving you as I do today. Every promise I make to you is one I feel that is not a burden, but rather a gift. I don't have to honor and cherish you. I get to. I get to have you be the person I spend the rest of my life with. I get to be there for you and support you. And best of all, I get to be the one you will call your wife from this day forward. It is clear to me now that everything in my life has led me to you. I think back on all of my choices and think even the bad ones were good. Because if I had done even one thing differently, I might never have met you. I give my hand to you with all my heart, and I can't wait to live my life with you. I can't wait to start. I love you. John and Amanda will now declare their intent to marry. John, do you take Amanda as your wife and your companion? Do you promise to share her laughter during the good times and wipe her tears during the bad from this day forward? I do. Amanda, do you take John as your husband and companion? Do you promise to share his laughter during the good times and wipe his tears during the bad from this day forward? I do. How do I describe the way I see you through my eyes? It's like the first time every time. John and Amanda, today you have made sacred vows to finalize your union. To symbolize this new union, you will now combine these jars of sand to seal your spiritual bond. You each hold in your hand a distinct jar of sand. Look into this jar, allowing the sand within to symbolize your individual life. Visualize each grain of sand as a moment in time, either one that has already come and gone or one yet to pass. This sand represents the waves endured over the course of time, every trial and tribulation that has been thrown your way. By the same token, it also encapsulates your joys, your achievements, and your triumphs. Reflect on these experiences and the strength required to achieve your goals or overcome your challenges. Now together, slowly pour your sand into the common jar. Just as your individual sands have combined together and melted into one, so too, John and Amanda, will your lives be forever joined from this day forward. Similar to the grains of sand, your lives, now combined, can never be separated. You will share your love, your joy, your hopes, your dreams, and your fears with one another. Notice, too, that your mutual jar of sand is now larger and more impressive. Just as your lives have gained depth and meaning thanks to the love and support of each other. Moving forward throughout life, always recognize the importance of the bond you share. From this moment, that has 
The wedding ring is a symbol of the unending power of love between two people. Its circular shape has no beginning and no end, representing a boundless spiritual connection. The ring should be worn proudly as a symbol of the commitment between you and your spouse. Even when you find yourselves apart, your rings will provide a powerful reminder of the eternal love you share. I John, I John, commit my love to you. Commit my love to you. Amanda. Amanda. For all time. For all time. Giving you all that I am. Giving you all that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Please accept it as a symbol of my love. Please accept it as a symbol of my love. With this ring. With this ring. I Amanda. I Amanda. Commit my love to you, John. Commit my love to you, John. For all time. For all time. Giving you all that I am. Giving you all that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Please accept it as a symbol of my love. Please accept it as a symbol of my love. With the blessings of your family and friends, I now formally pronounce you. John Edward and Amanda Catherine to be husband and wife. Let us celebrate this union. John, you may kiss your bride. John and Amanda, may you enjoy a lifetime of sunrises and sunsets together. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. John and Amanda Cunningham. Never fit so right 